media, get it on. Don't edit nothing. Don't edit nothing. Sorry, Pastor, but we're going to have to. Because the latest chapter in the ongoing drama in Dickinson, it took more than three hours to unfold. Well, it gives me shame. It's how some people in this town have turned into despicable human beings. To be frank, it's the definition of a hot mess. Yes, it is. I'm disgusted by what's going on in this town. What the city of Dickinson currently is and should not be is a dictatorship. A full house was there for a single vote, the one to get Dickinson City Council to approve the petition to hold a recall vote on controversial Mayor Sean Skipworth. Approve the recall now and let democracy run its course. Please represent the voters. We are all watching. On social media, the mayor's biggest supporter is someone named Upset Pineapple who called the crowded City Hall quote an unhinged mob with pitchforks and torches. A feel for how nasty this small town political fight has gotten. The mayor had brought in a city manager who had left Dayton with a financial mess. The charter later changed without a council vote to let him bill taxpayers when he drank with developers. And surveillance video showed he drank often. The citizens of Dickinson don't want you drinking on their dime. If you've got a drinking problem, sir, get some help. I'll help. Got the picture? We elected you. You need to let us decide if we're going to keep you or not. Damn! The city secretary had abruptly resigned just a few days after saying the recall petitions were invalid for a second time. They had been signed by almost a thousand registered voters, hundreds more than needed. But the brand new city attorney, chosen by Mayor Skipworth, ruled they had legal flaws that couldn't be fixed. City Councilman Bill Schick cried BS, and I couldn't agree more. What is going to be the flimsy excuse the second time for you to deem it invalid? Can you just let us know? Is it the color of the paper, the size of the font? What is it? We're, we're reaching way out there. The city attorney denied pressuring the city secretary to say no. There's a reason why she left. Couldn't, yeah. have, been, couldn't have been you. No. Couldn't have been. Couldn't have been. Did she tell you it was? Fresh off his firing a city attorney in League City, he was confronted in the hallway. Yeah. We're not in a courtroom here. Yeah, We're right. also not on a playground at an elementary school. Watch where it. I'm, watch it. Walk, 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 walk away. Walk, walk away, please. Walk, walk, walk away, I'm, please. In most small towns, the mayor is supposed to be the public relations person, working the crowd, selling the city. But Sean Skipworth doesn't walk into the council chamber until a minute before he starts the meeting. Watch when he left the room before the recall petition vote with a police guard. But before he left, Skipworth claimed he was the real victim here, targeted by what he called the good old boys. This recall isn't really about any of the manufactured controversies we've seen in the dozens of smear videos and angry public comments. That he was the only one really leading the charge against corruption and police misconduct. I'm rubber, you're glue. Everything you say bounces off to me and sticks back to you. We're all here tonight for one reason, to witness the council be presented with a choice that some believe may end this season of negativity here in Dickinson. All in favor, raise your hands. All right, those opposed, raise their hands. Motion fails. The vote to deny the recall petition was four to two. I wish nothing more than this petition would have been turned in and would have been correct from the start. The petitions had been amended as the city charter required to fix the problems. And there was nothing stopping Councilman Jesse Brantley or the others from giving the required number of voters what they were clearly asking for. I probably got more on the line than anybody up here, right? Because if you want to recall me, I mean, you've put together a pretty good case. Brantley finally confirmed he helped a private company, ProSource, get contracts in Dickinson just months after he was hired there, but says he didn't break the law. The relationship between the company I work for and the city began truly because I wanted to help. Wait a second. Just last April, we confronted Brantley after we found invoices showing he was listed as project manager for the ProSource contracts with the city, Economic Development Corporation, and the management district. Can you explain why you're listed as the project manager on those invoices? Uh, other than it was probably a mistake. A mistake that was made over and over again? 
probably. Reviewing early invoices helped expose overcharging to the management district. They've overcharged the management district by over $18,000. Take a look at these three months of invoices. Ashley Price's time is billed at $500 per hour as a level one right-of-way agent, not $68.75. Big difference. ProSource has helped conceal Dickinson government real estate deals before they happen, even though it's really no secret that they're working for the city. The ledger of the Economic Development Corporation shows ProSource has been paid $944,000 in the last few years, a lot of it for land. Brantley is a powerful member of the EDC and on city council too, so is the mayor. Albeit naive, I never considered how it would look. Let me be very clear, I have gained nothing financially from my company's relationship with the city. Sure he has, even if it's just helping his new bosses make money. He gets a paycheck, doesn't he? But will his admission stave off a potential recall? Unclear, but Bradley and other council members will have to live with the refusal to honor the right of citizens to recall their mayor. I ain't got nothing against Skip Word. Our job is to do what we need to do for the city. Personally, I think we're wasting money and we're spending money that we don't have. The city's legal fees could keep climbing if recall organizers decide to go to court to challenge the council. Or they could just hold another petition drive to recall Skipboard, who seems unwilling to resign to help end the fight and heal the city. There's a lot more people that'll shine at recall today. So where does it stop? Do we just keep going in this vicious cycle? 